If you want to be strong and have good food to eat, you can't depend on the system that give you Monsanto. I'm Ramona Africa, Minister of Communication for the MOVE organization. I'm also the sole adult survivor of the May 13, 1985 official government bombing and murder of innocent MOVE men, women, and babies. I am a, a former political prisoner as a result of surviving that massacre. I am a representative of the International Concerned Family and Friends of Mumia Abu-Jamal. Most importantly, I'm a revolutionary. Even though the city of Philadelphia will want to pretend like this never happened, like we know and we will always remember and their spirit will always live on and we're connected to that and I truly believe that. There's this, there's this notion that it's our time now, which is true. However, we still need to listen to the older seasoned activists who have been around. The people who were around during the Jim Crow, the people who have been around during segregation because they were there. I am here today because me and my family organized a commemoration program, a 30-year commemoration of the bombing and murder of my family. This year is particularly important mainly because of the epidemic of police murders across this country. Uh, MOVE have told people that their failure to stand up and speak out against the bombing and burning alive of babies would cause suffering and it's being manifested to this day. I think, especially for younger people here in Philly, they need to understand that MOVE is directly connected to Freddie Gray. There's always been a system that's always positioned black people at the very bottom of the system. Well, there is no painless path to liberation, okay? There is no painless failure to struggle for liberation. Oppression is a painful experience, again. Look around. And this is the day-to-day -day grinding reality. You cannot allow cops to bomb and burn babies alive and get away with it. Not see an uprising of people in opposition to it. If they feel like they can get away with burning babies alive, why wouldn't they think they can shoot people down in the street? and uh, choke people to death in the street and get away with it. What message are they getting to make them think otherwise? Like black people have always been a source of, the, I mean, we, we built this country. If you look at Philadelphia, like black people built Philadelphia. We are our own liberators, our own saviors. And if we don't stand up and do what's necessary to protect and defend ourselves, to respect ourselves, how in the world can we expect or demand somebody else to respect us? We have to do this ourselves. State violence looks like a number of ways. It looks like police brutality, it looks like incarceration. Yeah. All, of our, all of our brothers and sisters have poverty. It looks like people not being able to get a real apple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're real food to sustain themselves, can't yeah. afford to feed their family. Yeah. It looks like our, all of the schools are closing in Philly. Um, that is all a form of violence. We won't back down. We fight back. We believe in the instinct, the principle of self-defense, and nobody is going to convince us that that is wrong, that that is criminal. Who cares? It's all we trust. All breaks the order of life. The power of truth is final. Long land move. Long land China. Africa, long live John Africa, long live John Africa forever, on the move! Woo!